is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man can only take so much disrespect. And with that being said, Richter Scale left a comment in my comment section and I went and searched out what he wanted me to find. And yes, gentlemen, this is legit. Now I'm going to share with you the updated article, which was published on the 30th of July. Man admits he beheaded his girlfriend because she tried to break up with him while on their way to court. A criminal complaint filed Friday in the alleged decapitation murder of a Minnesota woman says that the defendant confessed to the police that he beheaded his girlfriend because she tried to break up with him while traveling with him to a court appearance on an earlier case. According to the police and prosecutors, America Malfalda Thayer, 55, of Shakopee, died Wednesday afternoon when her boyfriend, Alexis Sabarit, 42, also of Shakopee, cut her head off with a knife and fled. The incident occurred around 2.30 p.m. and was recorded on video by at least one witness the police confirmed earlier in the week. Prosecutors filed a single charge of second-degree murder against Sabarit on Friday in Scott County, Minnesota. The eight page charging document says a reporting party, quote unquote, observed a male throw a headless body out of a car at the intersection of Fourth Avenue and Spencer Street. Yes, gentlemen, I saw the footage. According to the criminal complaint, the victim's vehicle was parked nearby. The document continued by relating the story of the killing as given to the police by several witnesses. The criminal complaint also notes that a witness recorded a cell phone video, quote unquote, of part of the murder. The brutally gruesome and disgustingly graphic video has been shared wildly online, much to the irritation of the police. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! The defendant allegedly confessed to the police after they read him his rights. According to the complaint, Sabarit said Thayer tried to dump him while he was on his way to the courthouse for an earlier legal matter that is not fully described in the charging documents. And despite his own legal history of abuse, Sabarit tried to blame Thayer for abusing him. A second degree murder conviction in Minnesota carries a possible prison sentence of up to 40 years. Well, well, well. I want to talk about what he said. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location. It went down in a car, in public, so I gotta go with the five. 
method of execution. Decapitation. Large knife. Do I really need to go any further? Ten. Psychological impact. I saw the video. Fifteen. And for the brutality factor. Come on now. Decapitation. And when you saw how he just threw the body out of, the, you got to watch the video for yourself. You have to watch the video for yourself. So yeah, um, we're going to give him another 15 for the brutality factor. So Mr. Sabari gets a score of 45. Gentlemen, here we are yet again. Another woman who decides at the worst time possible to piss this man off. Mm, mm, mm. However, I want to focus in on what he said. He said that she was abusing him. Now, of course, they had to throw the fact that he had legal abuse on his jacket. However, they want to make sure they gloss that over. However, gentlemen, we're going to focus in on that because when you look at how old she is, she's 55. He's 42. Come to find out he's a Cuban immigrant. Hmm. I don't know. You guys can put the pieces together, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Now, he's on his way to court. She decides she wants to break up with him because of the possibility that he might go to jail on whatever that they're talking about, but they didn't really elaborate on why he was going to court. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, well, I'm not even going to say that I even care about all of that. The fact of the matter is, apparently, this guy was a bad guy. She liked the thrill of being with a young bad boy. And guess what? In the end, she lost her head, literally. So, no, I don't feel any sympathy for her. None whatsoever. Now, if she was abusing him, hey, that means it was a two-way street. But we all know women love to verbally and psychologically abuse us because there's no marks. So that way, there's nothing that the police will do about it. But hey, if he was being abused by her, then guess what? He took matters into his own hands. It is what it is. But this story just serves as another warning to you, ladies. The power will go out. Feminism and this stupid veil of protection that you honestly believe you have at all times will go out right along with it. Why? Because when a man's finally pushed over the edge, it's only going to be you and him in those final moments. And guess what? Nine times out of 10, he's going to win. He'll go in the cage, but you're going in that box. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Woke up, murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.